Hello Driver Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with Walt McLean behind the camera. And today we're going to take a look at the 2018 Alfa Romeo Giulia. This is the TI version. They make a high performance, and I'm going to butcher this, I apologize, Italians out there, Quadrofolio, I believe, or, or Foglio or something like that. Um, it's got a 500 plus horsepower, that sort of thing. That's not quite this vehicle, but nonetheless, still a really, really fun vehicle to drive. So with that being said, Walt, let's give everyone a quick walk around. This again is the TI, which is kind of a mid-tier level. They've got a, just the Julia, the Julia Sport, uh, the TI, the TI Sport, the TI Lusa, and then that Quadrifolio, um, which is really fantastic. So as you come around this car, the first thing you're gonna notice is it's really, really unique. You don't see a whole lot of alphas out there. Uh, and you do, people are kind of like, oh, what, what is that car? Is it a foreign car? Is that a fancy supercar? The grill's obviously a little bit different as you can tell from, from this, obviously from the video. Just really a different looking car. I personally like it. I think it's a good looking car. I think it's fantastic. And we'll be careful, there's some ice over here. But again, as we come around to the side, a few things that the TI, I wanna make sure I get you, gives you, which is 18 inch wheels, front and rear parking sensors, the 8.8 .8 inch display, uh, with optional navigation, satellite radio, cold weather package, adaptive xenon headlights, and our standard option, which is really nice. And I'm going to kind of go through this. Walt, as I open this door for you, you can see, and again, for some of you, you may never seen the inside of an Alfa Romeo. It's very simple. It's very simplistic. There's not a whole lot of buttons on it, which isn't a bad thing. It just makes for an easy user experience once you do get inside. Um, as far as, uh, I guess, this vehicle, so optional equipment, is the TI 18 inch sport package, which gives you, again, those aforementioned 18 inch sport aluminum wheels, um, some different fascias, gloss black surround moldings, painted uh, brake calibers, sport seats, that sort of thing. There's also a driver assistance static package, which is a blind spot and cross path detection option. And then the driver assist dynamic plus package, which basically gives you adaptive cruise with stop, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, auto high beams, and infrared windshield. The bigger, a little bit bigger of a display in there. The Harman Kardon premium audio system and the gloss red calipers are actually an additional option as well, which is part of an extra. Again, this is part of that package I just mentioned with the gloss over around there. We'll show you the back. Um, do Again, decent size. Again, this is a mid-size sedan. Um, not overly roomy here in the back seat, but just something to know. That's not necessarily a big deal in the mind of most people, but just, again, something that we do like to point out for people there's a lot of different options that you can get in here something to note oh well, i almost forgot to shut the door one thing to mention is walt comes around the back you'll see it as far as some of this badging and stuff goes this is the all-wheel drive variant they do make a rear wheel drive only variant and for some of you sportier people out there you may want that however the all-wheel drive is great for snow like we just had here in colorado and it also believe it or not helps obviously with the racing and some of that to a certain extent some of you are going to be rear wheel drive purists but just something to note from our personal opinion. Oh, I just locked it. Sorry. I'm going to open the trunk. It's not automatic in terms of you know, having an automatic motor, that sort of thing that drives it, but it's got a big enough pop-up that it's really nice. I'm trying to find here the, uh, I guess, the utility portion of this car. It's got the um, 40, 20, 40 rear folding seat, which is really, really nice. As far as the back goes right here, it's about an average in terms of total cargo capacity not a huge deal but also not going to be a class leader um, by any stretch of the imagination there um, so as we kind of come around the, the wall we'll finish here price really quick and i'm going to give you what's underneath the hood but price forty nine thousand three forty with everything i gave you forty one nine ninety five base and that gives you the two liter 280 horsepower four cylinder turbo engine now some of you are going to say 280 horsepower i'm not sure what they have done on this vehicle but whatever that 280 horsepower is, it feels like a lot more. They've got some massive paddle shifters in there, which make this car really fun. You've got three drive modes on there. It's kind of like a eco mode, like a neutral mode, and then a really a driver's mode. And when you put it in that driver's mode, this car handles, it moves, it's fantastic. Uh, there, there's a lot going on with the Quadrofolio model. Again, apologize if I'm butchering that name. Um, the, again, 500 horsepower variant. It's actually not quite as much money as some of the other performance cars in this segment, but again, 500 horsepower. But if you don't want to splurge for all that and you want a car for under 50,000, a luxury car, this may be the car for you. Uh, again, it's an Alfa Romeo, new for a lot of you folks out there, but it's definitely, in my opinion, right in line with the BMWs, Audis, Mercedes of the world. Now, they're gonna be a little bit more refined in some of their interior furnishings and that sort of thing, but in terms of driving performance, 
I've driven this in, in all the other cars as well. This will hold its own. It may not win in your mind, but it's definitely competitive. So with that being said, get to your local dealer, test drive this. Real quick fuel economy numbers. 23 and 31 with a 26 average. We've actually been able to average right around 28 miles per gallon, so which is really good for an all-wheel drive car like this. It's unique, it's a little bit different. Not to say that any of those things are bad, just a little bit different, which is, again, it's, it's kind of a fun, fun change of pace for us here at Drive Radio. So if you wanna learn more about this vehicle, head to their website, head to your local deal, your local Alfa Romeo dealer, get your family in it, test drive it, and when you do that, let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.